Hey there, Gemini. This is Meredith. I am here with your monthly reading for November 2018. And we are using Sawyer's Path Tarot. I'm going to encourage you to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus videos as well. They are all here for you on the channel and linked at the end of this video. So let's get into it. Um, card on the bottom of the deck. This is an energy um, or an influence that will be um, circulating within the month of November for you. And you have two of cups, partnerships, relationships, new and existing relationships. Gemini, this feels this feels like a long process for you. <laughs> for some reason and I am feeling more beloved relationship than I am feeling work relationship I'm not going to ignore the work career or how you are of service um, so there could be something taking shape for you in those arenas and considering a partnership or a collaboration of sorts when it comes to your work um, I do feel, though, beloved relationship real strong on this card. And it feels to me like something that started um, like you stuck your toe in the water with a relationship back in February or so. And then again mid-July because we see a bit of an eclipse here. And that would touch on eclipse season for us. So late July, early August for sure. And now it's cycling back around for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is Venus and Cancer, water energy, of course. So there's success. There's an emotional, there's emotional sharing. Um, there's sensuality on this card. Expansive intuition. There's bliss and harmony and a deep and abiding peace in this card as well. So what... A beautiful energy to have in your month right all right let's take a look at your first card this is the current situation so this will be a strong theme for you in the month as well and you have the page of Pentacles everything in its own right season on this card pages are um, you know they're kind of the novice when it comes to the court cards they're not experienced they're certainly not as experienced as knights and definitely not as experienced as kings and queens this is a double earth card so this is an energy that appears to move slowly and this is a theme that is unfolding in the now where there's um some of us have our arms crossed over our chest and we are tapping our feet because we're waiting on something and it feels as though as it's taking forever um, but the Page of Pentacles specifically is a reminder that everything happens in its own right way. And it is a time for to allow your talent to shine. There's good fortune on this card. And this is a reminder, too, that tending your dreams, goals, intentions is important. And trusting that you are always supported by the divine. It reminds us to bring our wholehearted undiluted passion to what's important to us so bring your wholehearted full-on passion to your partnerships relationships at this time yeah they could all use an infusion of you and your unique qualities there's progress and adventure here too For some of you, it feels like there is a job offer. So you may be in um, discussion with people for some kind of work venture. And some of you are negotiating the terms of your relationships, which is good. It's really good. All right, let's see the energy that is crossing your page of pentacles. You have the ace of cups. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, aces, they're all about new beginnings, fresh starts. They transmute challenging energies as well. They transform them. This is Venus in Cancer. <laughs> Excuse me. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces, water energy, of course. 
Um, I was staring at the Two of Cups and, you know, thinking of its stats. Anyway, Ace of Cups, sorry, it's water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, it's love, it's relationships. I do lean heavily toward the beloved relationship here. It is, you know, by percentages, I'd say 70, 30, you know, 70% more on beloved than it is um, on work and career. And this is something that's spanning most of this year so far. So you're in negotiation probably with your own self as it relates to um, beloved relationship. But the Ace of Cups blesses us with oneness, fertility, kindness, simple joy, appreciation. So those are wonderful energies to immerse yourself in if you have this sense of frustrated waiting going on. <laughs> You want to lift yourself up out of waiting energy and move into allowing energy so that you stay in the in a harmonious flow. And the Ace of Cups has a beautiful flow on it. And we have progress. So we have an Ace and we have a Two. We have something moving along. It may not be moving as quick as you would like, but it is moving. Okay. Uh, next card is at the foundation. What's at the root of this? We have the moon. Whoa. Wow, Gemini. That's a lot of water energy there. Um, the moon lets us know there's something that we're not seeing as clearly as we could. You know, it's borrowed light of the sun. And I'm still feeling this, this eclipse season energy here because we've got the moon. We've got the moon and the sun here. We've got the sun over here. Um, we definitely have sunlight shining on this ace. So this is you, Gemini, sort of deliberating. You're deliberating. You're weighing options. That's, a, that's the feeling I have. So the moon is letting you know that you are not fully informed at this time. And to become fully informed in your collaborative experiences or the personal deliberation that's going on, you really do need to engage your intuition, your, your empathic gifts. And this card lets you know that something important is surfacing. And it's not doing it on your clock. It's in its own right cycle and rhythm here. And that's what the page is reminding us of. So I may do a clarifier on this card. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to wait till the end in case there were others I wanted to clarify. But no. What more can we know for Gemini about this moon? What is the important energy or experience that is surfacing. I'm using Chuck Spitzano's Love Pack. It's such a great clarifying deck. Oh, okay. Romance, Gemini. You get the Romance card. I hope you can see that well. So what was I telling you? That um, I feel it's much more, this Two of Cups is much more related. Ooh, here's... I feel like I'm supposed to take this. It was on the bottom of the deck. Um, you get the true love card. So Gemini, you're deliberating about true love and romance here. So allow what's important to surface. Don't force things right now. The universe is attempting to gift you with something beautiful. Uh, so allow that to come in in its own right way. Stay in a harmonious flow. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Next card is your recent past. You have the chariot. I feel like we're reading a once upon a time story. <laughs> once upon a time, back in the early eclipse season in February 2018, Gemini decided <laughs> to go on this journey. And, you know, it's been a bit of a bumpy ride. And there's been a sense, Gemini, that... Um, there's delay, delay, delay. I don't know where the delay comes from. Is it you? Is it the person you're dealing with? Is it both of you? Only you know the answer to that. But a recent past, there is dynamic movement forward. And the chariot is all about that. And it's, it's, um, it's measured. It's a focused movement forward. In the now, though, you feel like things may have stalled 
or come to a screeching halt. And that isn't so. Things are still moving along. You just don't see it as clearly, the moon, as you once did. And that it's all right. You're being asked to trust this process because true love and romance is there for you. I sense you are saying yes to it. You have determination and will for it. And you're going to continue to say yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here's the crowning energy to this justice i did say moments ago you're weighing options and the justice card is all about weighing options hmm what else do i want to say about that what do i feel about that my feeling here gemini is that you've been um Maybe taking a look at the experiences of your past. And sort of allowing them to create doubt. This is a similar message that I had in the Aries monthly as well. There's this, um, there's this sense that the experiences of prior relationships and how they came to an end or why they came to an end, um, you have some fear, doubt, worry around repeating that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Justice, this is Libra. Uh, you're being asked to re-examine your perceptions here. Be alert, be very clear. And, you know, insert a little bit of logic alongside your intuition. And then with the, co with the combination of your logic and your intuition, run that through your ego. And the ego will settle itself down. There's an opportunity for enlightenment here. And that enlightenment comes from knowing that you're the one driving this chariot. Um that the things you desire excuse me the things you would choose not to repeat you don't have to repeat it really is a choice it doesn't happen by default it only happens by default if you allow that and the sense here is that you are not allowing that but at the same time you're also a little bit frightened of it repeating and it's all in your hands to manage there's stability on on um, the justice card. And an encouragement to stay in your integrity when you're making decisions. Be empowered. Yes, be empowered. The chariot is very empowering. So there's encouragement there. So be empowered when it comes to true love and romance for yourself. There's You don't have to put yourself on autopilot. And just do it in the same old way that you've done it before. That's boring anyway. Who wants that? Shake it up, Gemini. Do it different. Make different choices. My feeling is you got to live out on the edge of your comfort zone when it comes to relationship. And that feels a little, <laughs> a little frightening. But um, there's also a rush of excitement to it. So maybe consider embracing that. And then your outcome card is... King of Swords. Ooh, nice. Well, this is you making a decision. This is you making a final decision on it. And the King of Swords, you know kings and queens bring self-mastery. So the message of that king is to bring your self-mastery to this. You know, way back when, when all that crap was going wrong in prior relationships, and you now don't want to repeat all that crap that was going wrong... <laughs> You were learning, you were growing, you were integrating what you learned and what you were growing through. And you have to trust that that wisdom is alive and well inside of you. And it is that very wisdom that will keep you from repeating things you don't want to repeat. That's wonderful. The King of Swords would not settle for that. He just wouldn't. He's Capricorn and Aquarius. He's double air energy. He's super ambitious. He loves structure and order. He's very charming, and he can be ruthless. So why don't we put some ruthless 
on that old story, Gemini. Let's put some ruthless on, some divine ruthless on the things that would create fear and disallow you the acceptance of true love and romance. Let's be ruthless about that. Um, he's a seductive king, too. He's very hands-on, and he makes decisions that make a really positive difference in the world, not only for himself, but everyone that is part of it. And he's a take charge, full of initiative kind of guy. So take charge. Find your initiative here and drive that chariot where you want it to go. You don't just have to put it on a track and follow that track, you know? Okay, that was pretty clear, Gemini. Let's get to the angel answer cards. This is your opportunity, like we do in the dailies, to ask a question. Let these cards be your answer. We have one jumping out. You have an opportunity here. Indeed you do. And I'm putting it with the Two of Cups. It's a partnership in how you are of service or how you work in the world. It's collaborative in some way. But you also have an opportunity in love. Next card, you get improving health. So some of you may be recovering from something, which could be a prior relationship. <laughs> so your well-being can be improving here. Some of you may have been recovering from an injury as well. Next card. Helpful people. You know, this down here with the moon, this um, dreamy, not-so-informed, somewhat illusion type energy here on the moon. This is something you can discuss with a good friend. Talk it out. Yeah, do that. Share your emotions. Share your concerns with someone else. Bring enlightenment to the situation. Anytime two people come together, there is enlightenment. And there is the divine at work. So have discussions with someone that you really, um, that you find trustworthy. And... Talk about your fears, worries, and concerns, but talk about them in a solution-oriented way, okay? All right, last card is going to be from our Notes from the Universe on love and connection. I just reached in. I'm grabbing this one. Pucker up, buttercup. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, being fair and reasonable, Justice, will earn you respect and admiration but being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet. <laughs> go for love magnet. Yes, go for love magnet. You've got it here. Say yes, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in. Check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus videos so you get a great picture of the energy atmosphere of the month for you. I appreciate you watching. Leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe. And if you would like to book a private reading, you can do that in the description box below. Bye for now, Gemini. Happy November.